for major we are in the lower bracket it is the elite wolves going against digital chaos and we are into game three hype i'm with monolith and ld hi hey dude what's up bro monolith now there's a blast from the past monolith. wow nobody takes toss I, I think we should just get ready to go in the draft because i'm already excited yeah, because we it. have a out. first pick slardar <laughs> You're a fucking mess, bro. Sorry. Slardar opening up here. Why? Uh, certain teams like it a lot. Partially could be a block pick. Shadow Fiend, Dire Side. You give them Slardar as well. Roche is almost a guarantee. Oh. Minus Armor Synergy, if obviously. I'm I don't all, know, I'm though, if they run this as a safe lane or an off lane thing. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be offlane. Do you want to put a chip on it? it? That could even be their offlane dual lane potentially. Yeah, I, I'll put a chip on it. So, so I say it's their offlane. If if I'm if oh, I'm you wrong, say it's the offlane. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it's their safe. Okay. So okay. Van Van would play Slarder then. I I I, don't, I haven't seen them play it at all. So I think that your guess is as good as mine. All right, we'll see about that. Um, Do I feel like it's a stinger hero? I'm going to say it's their safe lane, so okay. I will take your chip bet. Okay. What about you, LD? Do you have any word in the matter? I think it's off lane. All right. So two f two you two say off lane. I'll say safe lane. Uh, Dark Seer again left in the pool. Same with Broodmother. And Broodmother, yes. Mm. Oh. AUI Ogre Mega again. I'm... I'm honestly always surprised when teams pick Ogre over Tusk. But that means that... Like, look how much Tusk did last game. I don't think Ogre can offer nearly as much. I don't... DC doesn't really... They don't usually pick uh, Tuskar. Do, you, are they, do they just don't have a player who's comfortable in the hero, or what? I, I feel like that's the case. Um, you think I, it would suit Biryu with his if anybody, preference um, to aggressive heroes. If anybody... Uh, <laughs> so fierce comment. <laughs> Fuck you, old man. Uh, um... If if anybody's gonna play the Tuscar on uh, DC, it's going to be uh, Bulba. It's gonna be Bulba, but um, I feel like they they want Bulba to play something else, something that gets a little more farm. Uh, and so I don't think it's, and I don't I don't think Biru is uh, that comfortable on it. I don't think a AUI definitely isn't. So you know. If Digital Chaos doesn't take Darkseer, I could see Wolves doing that and then maybe actually running the safe lane Slardar. Yeah. Because TA, Slardar, Darkseer, that is just Look at this minus armor they got. Yeah. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Templar Assassin, Deso, Slardar, have damage, Dazzle Weave. DC taking their time here. This is Better the get an AC moment. candidate. <laughs> Wyvern banned as well, so... The Dazzle and Wyvern, the two big supports the teams try to pick to counter heavy physical damage. Neither available to DC. That is a concern. I'll grab an Omni Knight. Yeah, <laughs> they could. Then they'd have an Omni Knight. Uh, then they, dual melee. they would have so many problems <laughs> laning the Omni Knight. <laughs> Solo mid Omni, dude. Easy versus TA. Who are you, Sir Action Slacks? <laughs> DC go with the Gyro. Very 6.84 pair of cores. Does have a way to remove refraction with the rocket barrage. This is okay. Yeah, feels very, yeah. very safe and standard. I was it's very, it's very, it's very vanilla. It's, yeah, it feels very, you know, like oh, we got a game three here and we do not want to lose. We better pick what is our best option. Well, oh, Wolves left. fifth band brood last game, so I think if you don't pick it now as DC, you're not getting it. I got so excited I just touched Charlie's leg. Yeah, was, it was glorious. Uh, I was wondering what that was. You never get that excited casting with me. Well, we never touch legs. Oh, I thought you got we so excited you had to Dakota. touch his leg. <laughs> yeah. All um, right, so anyway, Dota. So E Wolves still have to pick. Touch um, my leg. <laughs> um, they, they could even pick Tusk, honestly. Yeah, I, I think it's still good for them. Snowball into a crush. That's a, basically a free blink dagger. It's good against the gyro as well. Really good against the gyro. I'm, I'm actually really surprised they're not taking it. They're thinking about this. It's also like you can also like just run mid against the uh, against the shadow fiend with it. All right. So All right, they grab a support that, that can secure the lanes. 
that's 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 interesting. I mean, D DC hasn't picked their offlaner yet, so I don't know why they would pick the the Skywrath here. Oh, so they want Brood? That to me is the biggest question mark right now. That is weird. They're gonna uh, pull out a offlane faceless void, I guess. <laughs> that's not happening. That is not happening. Remember that hero? I don't think he's been picked yet, Majors, right? No, no, he hasn't. He's I don't dead. think he's been picked a single time yet. No face, no picks. Five it is weird that they pick a Scarlet Mage. It's not like they need that kind pick of control Brood, against Ember Seer. or something like that. Yeah. The yeah. only issue with the Brood pick here is they do—they have two cores that don't really start the fight. So at that point, they're very committed to winning the lanes. Yeah. And I think that might be giving them pause. And so they need to pick a Bulba hero to start the fight. Maybe um, a Phoenix. I don't know how I feel about Clockwork here. Yeah, uh, I don't think it's a great clock game. Uh, uh. I, it's okay. I think I think Sam can make this work. It's okay against Slardar. Um, pretty good against Skywrath. Uh, Dazzle as well. Yeah, once you get level six, but Skywrath can really punish. Him. All right, oh. this is good. I, I I like Beastmaster. I like Beastmaster a lot. Right. Um, so no need to ban Brood then. You ban a support here. Mm -hmm. Do they run? So is support Beastmaster a thing? No, they don't. No. Run, they don't run. Everyone run that I've seen has been running it mid or yeah. occasionally off. It's mid or off. Yeah. Yeah. This is good. I like this. It uh, gives them a lot of vision as well. Um, now they just need a Biru hero. Five seconds remaining. What and about Evil Eat Wolves? Can they still creep in a brood? Mm, I don't. I don't think so. I also don't think it's very good. Or it's I don't okay think it's very good here. here. It's not great. All right. Well, I think it's not bad. I mean, it's it's not bad, but like I said, I think the Slardar is offline. I think it just doesn't fit their play style as well. Wolves are a team that want to be fighting a lot. They're gonna actually ban AA Slark for Van maybe in the cards. Dakota, you talk about that a lot as one of Van's yeah, but heroes. Slardar Sl is Sl Sl Van's playing Slardar. Remember? Oh, well, oh <laughs> yeah, duh. It's it's also not good here. It's not a good it's not good against Gyrocopter. It's not good against SF. But then why why ban AA? What what do they want? Could be a push strat, Huskar? maybe. Oh, interesting. They have a lot of physical oh. damage. Oh, they have they roar. could go Huskar. They could go Huskar. I think they know they're going to go Huskar now. Oh, that's the other main hero. Ah, oh, they banned it. Ugh. All right. Could have just been a let's make them throw away their ban, and we don't really want Huskar anyway as well. We want Brood. <laughs> no, I don't think it's Brood. Last time you said that, a lone druid came out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, you ban AA. It's not always because you want a hero that's like countered by Ice Blast. It is yeah. also sometimes because you want to push really hard. I mean, Slark is countered by AA. That's true. So it's either so, Slark or it's a pushing hero would be my guess. Maybe they were like, we'll can hope for a Huskar and we'll fall back that on the bristle. That is kind of a pushing hero. What the boss. The? Well, looks like I was wrong. Unless it's an offlane bristle back. Mm. It could be. It could be. It could really be either way. This is a it's, this is a lot of farm to go around on those three cores. Yeah, and they're also kind of not three melee, but it's not like TA has huge range with the exception of Cyblade. So they kind of really need to be in the fight, and that puts them inside a call down and yeah. Requiem range. They also have no initiation really until they get a blink on Slardar, which is where it's kind of a risk to run him in the in the off lane, especially again, against the Gyro. Again, and you also have two supports that. Um, a little defensive. I the sk the Skywrath mm -hmm. is a lane winner. It's it, not so much a roamer, but yeah. um, it's like two supports that don't do too much um, outside of laning phase. Game five, guys. DC, what's the support here? Uh, it's the it's probably the Owie the here. Oh, is, is Owie the ogre? Player? Owie's the ogre player. Typically, he's the. Ogre. So Burr used the Spirit Breaker player, but Owie's the Ogre player. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot That's of sense. That's very to strange. But um, unless they want to change it up and get Owie a, a jungle hero here. See, which doctor? Which doctor okay, yeah. so that's the Burr you're here. The bitch so you doctor. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Van, Van Bristle. Van Bristle. Dakota. Unless right, they swap. The wait, wait. Let's see if they swap. All right. That means I won. That means you guys no, got to chip in. We said off lane. We said off lane. Van, oh, what did I say? Oh, you're right. I Oh, you're right. <laughs> That's why you were. Damn it! I tried to pull an LV and then yeah. switch it. <laughs> <laughs> didn't work for me. Everyone shut me down immediately when like, I did. Ah, I was right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. They'll swap. Mind games, people. Have you ever played Dota? And here we were thinking that you were the resident expert on. Come American on. Dota. Elite Wolves have not been playing 
anything that no, they, they haven't been playing Florida or for. Bristleback really at all. Can you guys pick your heroes. Tens. Everyone disconnected and lagged out. Are we remaking? No, they're plotting out their early five man smoke. Oh, movement. did they? Oh, no, oh. this was just during the draft. I Stainer's disconnected right now. Or do you want to make a new pause bet? Uh, <laughs> it's such a depressing <laughs> thing to bet on. I guess we can. All right. All right. What was it last time total? Four? Yeah. We were almost almost well, one pause away from LD actually winning that bet. I so say uh, you want to make the line 5.5 5 again? Mm. That's a good number. I'm think I think I'm going to do under then. I'm doing under. God damn it, I'm doing under. All right, 3.5. We, <laughs> we can't do a pause bet where everyone does the same How thing. How about 3.5? Uh I over over. I'll stick Damn it, no. I don't want to go under <laughs> that shit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Can I not count this one? You can do 4.5, but I would still do under on that. I I would do... Yeah, I would do under on that as well. Mm. Wait, you said you, you, could, you both said you would do under 4.5? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be I think exactly the 4. I think the pauses are just... The amount of pauses are just going to go down as we go along. The servers have been "quote unquote" fixed, so oh. everything's fine. Who said that? Andre said. When? Valve said the servers have been fixed. Like the last game. Or that whatever. was the first game, I think. <laughs> I don't know. First game. And then there were less pauses long. in the game too, right? Yes, there were. So, the trends, Dakota. Yeah, like neutered fixed, Rob. Yes, like they cut the Ethernet cord to the servers. They fixed them right up. Then they threw one out a window and beat it up Office Space style. Let's see, we got. TC playing the gyro. Got you are playing your shadow. God damn it. There it is. Bulba, Beastmaster. I, oh, I can't go higher. The green screen only goes so high. I'm trying to Vanna White our introduction. Oh, there. No. oh okay. okay. <laughs> so I was so confused as to what you were doing. We're just chilling, you know, on top of this mini map. What's up? <sighs> hey, guys. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? You know what? I need some energy, guys. I need to bring the hype here. So I'm going to get some monster energy. Of the caffeine of the Red Bull variety, Charlie. Now, did you Would say you like a cold, delicious Red Bull? Are you contractually banned from drinking Red Bull? No. Mm -hmm. You just prefer Monster, right? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Dakota, do you want anything? No, I'm good, man. Can I get you a beer? No, I'm good. I don't actually drink energy drinks. Okay. We'll be back. I'm fine, by the way. What's up? <laughs> hey, Rob, do you want anything? Hey. You want to touch legs? Yeah. How much hair you got on your legs? Probably not much, right? No, I'm 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 pretty ha I'm pretty hairy guy. You are hairy Asian. for an Asian. Yeah, I am. You're you're really hairy for an Asian. Yeah, that's impressive. Is that a, is that an have, impressive? And you thing? have I do have facial. respectable facial hair. Thank that's you. More than most. More than our tour. I was just gonna say, like our tour's oh, facial hair, it looks like uh, it looks like he he shaved off his pubes and just taped them to his face. Yeah, it was pretty damn bad at ESL. Is yeah. he still trying to do that? Yeah, he's still trying to do it. All right, here we go, folks. Me and Charlie getting All ready right. to bring the serious hype here. It's game three of Elite Wolves going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Digital Chaos. Dota Cinema, whatever you want to call them. They are on the verge of being eliminated. Team Suns fan, let's be, let's be real here. All right, I'm back. Hey, welcome back. Let's do it. You haven't missed much, but pick a packet loss apparently. So all right, I think we're gonna lose the bet. Pause number two is coming any moment. Stressful so moment dumb. here for both teams, and for Valve's PR staff. Oh wait, they don't have any. <laughs> Boom. Well, they both have the same issue that we're. It's an even playing field. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Let's just play on. <laughs> Oh my! Yeah, we're feeling the jump too. I guess the I guess they're probably feeling it, they're just ignoring it. What? I I, I don't know, man. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I, it's like I'm watching a slideshow. This is it's like the Bermuda Triangle of Dota. Everything is just falling apart right uh -oh. before my eyes here. Stinger, not getting that rune. So your standard both mids get the first rune. Will ferry themselves some regen. Smash wants to. Prance a bit about on his before he grabs it. Okay, so I'm expecting the Skyrath wants to establish some dominance here for Smash in the mid lane, and then he will fart on out of here. But Owie, Owie's here the as same. well. 
But the problem is Skywrath can pinch and poke from far. Except as I say that, this Skywrath mage is nowhere to be seen. Now we'll show himself. And this lane is now a 2v2. Throw the, uh, throw the ignite. Just wait two more seconds there, Charlie, and then you can throw it again. Yeah. Two! Oh, all right. What did Artur do? Mm. Oh, no, I just... Tried to grow facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. Wait for something to drop, maybe, as well. Yeah, FBTA, whoever that is. That just sucks, man. I really feel for the players, though. This is I, I know that they're beyond infuriating, and yeah. you know nobody's going to be playing their best Dota. Like it's just not going to happen. They're not going to be playing their best Dota, and we're not going to be playing our best casters. Hmm. We'll try though. Hashtag hard work, dedication. Oh yes. Well, it looks like they're back. What's this on Owie's butt? It's just crazy that right now there could be two like Peruvian teams at the Frankfurt Major, or effects. there could still be zero. That, to me, is just amazing. Can you imagine if someone said that was a possibility what? a year ago? Oh, yeah. That there could be oh. two Peruvian teams at the Major, potentially? I mean, the, a, a lot of... There's some good um, Peruvian players that came up, like uh, Kataro, um Van, uh, Van, like, Smash it just used to be... Uh, Smash plus four. And yeah. Now, is now Van Pervian? Who's the one that was from Mexico? Oh, I don't know. Was that Stinger? I can't remember. I know one of the players was from Mexico. I'm still South American or Central American. Ooh. Anyway. Good Ouch. damage on the beer, you. Damn, this lane. That's tough for the Witch Doctor. Crush and heal. And he got in kind of close. Like, it could be the lag, honestly. Not sure. Well, beer is sporting his I am ashamed mask. But man, look at this mid lane. <laughs> Yawar is just crushing early. Eight and three against the TA. Smash only three and zero. Lag. I mean, we're even lagging. Yeah. Server's fixed though, guys. So. Yeah, the oh. server's fixed, so there's nothing to worry about. It's all in your heads. All right, Smash with some comebacks. Yes, no. Matchup. I'm sure both of these guys are very familiar with. We've seen Smash many a time on his TA. I'm sure he's played many a time against the Shadow Fiend. You could say the exact same. Oh, that was you know who it was? It was Ifrit. I'm thinking of. Oh, Ifrit. Ifrit yeah. from Mexico. That was from uh, was, not today. Yeah. He was very very good in his prime. I haven't seen much of him lately though. Oh, Misko going he's for on the, the swag plays. We're training about for now. This is a free lane for Van though. Early uh -oh. on, he might be dead. He doesn't have boots here. Owie, Ignite cooling down soon. Misko in a lot of trouble. Has a salve. Doesn't oh, have mana for the heal. The grave, unfortunately. Owie going for the long range lob. Not going to be able to get him in time. But we'll force out some regen. Has the boots. Means no orb of venom. Doesn't get that extra bit of slow. Looks like Misko will get both the clarity and a salve now. If that were Febby, he would have gotten the kill. Not good, Bulba. Goes in for the early magic stick. <laughs> that, that took Got a really that. long time to set in. Well, for you? <laughs> yes, jeez. I'm losing my mind with all these pauses. I mean, half the uh, half chat probably doesn't doesn't get it either. Is a chat's trying to give us like, what's a lessons. Febby and who's Charlie? Oh, smash mid lane. Oh, close. Did not have mana for a fraction, and you are knew it. He was looking to punish. Almost had enough with the double raise and an auto attack to get the kill, but just a bit short. God, this is so choppy. Feels like we're watching a perfect world game. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it does. Uh, I'm, I'm really glad we haven't cast much of the China games for that reason. Reborn plus perfect world is the ultimate recipe for trouble. But I can't stress enough how well Yawar is doing this thing. He's 20 and 8 versus a TA already. That's ridiculous. It's huge. Yeah. He's doing very well for himself. Yes. Might be a little. Um Upset about his performance last game, so he uh taking out his rage on creeps. Yeah. Yeah, take that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna see some regular neutral stacking. Smash not opting to go to the ancients, and now back to the lane. Once his CS rune will be secured. Bottom bounty rune, and Owie again there to smack a support. He may actually be able I to kill off Masoku. I think Can he's he deny the neutrals? Jukes through the trees, and he wanted to go back, but he hesitated. 
Hard to say, but maybe he could have get him, gotten himself denied. Owie. First on the board. I think this is when he's he's picked uh, Ogre for himself a lot, and it's never three th three pauses. It's never worked out like. Is it gonna be the over now? <laughs> it was four point. Yeah, you two said. Uh, I under. said under, right? Yeah. No, I said I said it'd be yeah. I said under. But yeah, um, Kurt picks himself this a lot, and I think he expects a lot of games to go like this, where he just finds out a support in the jungle by himself, and he can just ignite them and and run them down. But a lot of games haven't been going like that, and I think um, this is this, that was probably pretty satisfying for him. Yeah, that early just beat down a squishy, pathetic little Skyrath mage. Always a good time. Yeah. How do we feel about this top lane though? TC with 22 and 4 CS, Slardar 12 and 3. It's okay. I would imagine. The Wolves would have liked to gotten a bit more with their Slardar here. They're not really doing too much to stop TC from farming. Stinger is getting poked a bit. They're getting a lot of levels on the, the heroes, uh -oh. so I think it's okay overall. They are jumping TC. Oh, nice. And, uh, Crush, concussive shot, some arcane bolts. They got the secured grave, so Stinger can overcommit here, but no. Wand pop. They're looking to turn around. Stinger's the one now in trouble. This coconut oh. bounces on him. Oh. Oh. oh! But they got the heal. He's going to be fine. Oh. Coming up short, though, that is going to be a, a letdown. That would have been a wolves. very big kill. That was very close. And you really want to kill the gyro before he gets level 6, when he's actually... When he's not able to just turn it around for a triple kill, so... Good effort by Wolves, just a tiny bit short on the damage department. More burst through so he can make some clearance for the rune, but it is going to be Smash. He picks up the bounty top, and that means bottom. He snagged up from Van. It's Illusion. He's going to use it now. Oh, you are. He found the stacks in the Radiant Jungle. He's going to steal it. Oh, nice. That's really big. Take my rune. I'll take your stacks. Oh, no. This but really Van hurts the TA. We'll be getting the kill, though. A long chase from Aoi since that rune. And he had the not early the worst thing. investment into goo. At least it's not an ancient stack. You are really low. There's a decent chance he dies trying to run away. You are? Oh, God. Uh, He's got to be so careful. Bum, bum, ba -da, bum, <laughs> ba -da. He's so, Successful mission. He's so lucky. <laughs> That's just lucky, honestly. <laughs> Let's be serious. They had the Hill Ward, but that did not see the two heroes behind the tower. And they smoke. They do it under the ward. They are looking for Yawar, who might be doing stacks, and he certainly is. Oh, he wants. But he's it. in a good position. He's very far out. He's he's gone. Owie, Owie revealed it. Yeah. But now, a time to steal their stacks. <laughs> this time though, it's a four hero commitment, and they're looking to contest with Owie. Curtis, this is not something that you fight. Oh, I like this play though. Yawar he's is got backup. To snipe from the low ground with the raise. Yu comes in. Stinger, though, catches him off. Going to get the crush onto the little witch doctor. Oh, they're going to get the stack. Get out. Leave the skeletons, because who cares? Oh, TC is in here, though. Oh, call that's down. a really good call down. Oh, Masoku. Big trouble. They have a silence available on Masoku. Bulba also with the roar. They could potentially get the twofer. Oh, these creeps. creeps almost finish off Masoku. He almost got denied. The Rays will end up getting the kill. Smash now dropping the trap. He's roared. Misko can turn for the grave bait. May also go down. Doesn't even get it off in time. And now he's got to run. As they continue to rush forward, looking for the next kill, but looks They've like Misko will make five. it out. If they can get two kills and an objective follow-up, that would be wonderful here. Looked a bit sketchy at first for DC, but eventually they get enough people around, and TC's appearance certainly changed things dramatically. For the better of DC, they get a beautiful call down, and they're able to put together a couple of kills. They stuck around a long time, and also going back to the earlier gank top, if they get that kill on TC, I think that's a very different fight. Still no boots on Skyrath. Part of why they were able to run Masoku down. Again, Misko getting a lot on his support Dazzle, though. Yeah, he's up to 22 CS now. They really like giving him farm. This is quite a departure from the old not today. I'll switch to uh, net worth. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, we got the two-man camera operation now. <laughs> Still a, a crack pretty, team of observers. Still a pretty close game. <laughs> Archon mode. <laughs> Archon mode observing. <laughs> one person controls the keyboard, one the mouse. That sounds awful. 
It was funny at the, uh, the summit too, though. I enjoyed that. What do you think Van goes for in his bristle back? Straight to Vanguard? To tank up? Um. Yeah. Four. What's this pause number? Four. four. This is four. So if we if we pause one more time, that's uh, over. Me four, and five. me and you, right? We yeah. bet the over. No, I think I bet under. I actually. bet the under. I bet the under. I think Dakota took the over this time. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So Dakota's gonna lose both pause bets. Oh! Wait, did you put your chip in after last time? Is there a Dakota chip in there? I, why would I there's put? Oh, I didn't put my chip in for the there's the bet though. All right, there we're on pause. One more pause. I win. You lose. But everyone loses. <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, it's like you win the bet, but I guess you win either way. You either win the bet or you win by not having to deal with Call down bottom lane. They're looking to go in for Van. Van dead. Was it a pretty good smoke gank? Another good movement from DC. It's almost like they had a pause to premeditate that. <laughs> it's almost like they had a lot of time to think about it. Well, they get in. They get the job done. Bristle, who had been farming... Very substantially in the bottom lane will be punished. I think they should just try and uh, trade towers here. Um, they just don't push very fast, though. It's a dazzle slardar. They don't. I mean, it's not like either team really pushes very fast at this point. Both teams yeah. get at Roche, though. Yeah. <laughs> when, that, when, when we get to that chapter. If you could amp damage towers. Oh, my God. <laughs> that sounds like a good buff. Yeah, then you see maybe some s support Slarr coming to play. That'd be nice. Oh. So, bottom tier one does go down. Digital Chaos is going to be able to sweep that. And it looks like the Elite Wolves will get their trade. Also going to get to clear out the entire Radiant jungle, though. There are no stacks, fortunately, for the Wolves. Still, Shadow Fiend surging into the lead in terms of net worth. 5,300 up against the TA. Did not really get pressured at all in the lane, aside from that level one Skywrath for about one minute. Yeah, they they just they don't have the heroes to really pressure him. Unlike last game, where you saw he just got snowballed into. Yeah, I'm still a little surprised they didn't go touch this game. Yeah, same. Wasn't even touched at all. I know DC just doesn't play it, but I don't know why E Wolves didn't pick it up. It was to me the game-winning hero for them last game as well. Yeah. Well, we'll see if they can make things happen with the Skyrath Mage. Not yet having access to Mystic Flare. He's getting close, and Slardar moves in on top. Amps up, you are. Not going to go on him. Yuar is going for the safe standard mech. No Midas play this time around. Not trying to not trying to keep up with the Joneses any longer. Stare down of supports in the mid lane. We each got to get some levels here. Miss Gory level 7. See, like, if they had a Tusk, Aoi would not be farming like that. Because he'd be worried about getting punished for it. But they have no one to initiate, aside from a Slardar. Does but he, he doesn't have Blink yet. What does he have right now? Oh, he's uh, pretty far away from it as well. That's the, the downside to the Dazzle taking some of his farm top. Yeah, that's that's not good because that's like their next big time for a fight. Smash, though, is farming up pretty well. Already has one hammer. Working through some Ancient Camp. Could get a Smoke pretty from respectable DC. time Desolator. They're moving on the Slardar top. They want to slow down the blink timing even further. And Stinger about to get caught out. If he yeah. runs in the trees and he TPs right now, he may live. In fact, he is going to break the smoke. Looks like he oh, gets he away. It. Oh, Sprint oh. wearing off. The Hawk went north. He went south. It's nighttime. Oh. Z Jukes. Oh. They're going to watch the replay and love that. <laughs> love is not the word that I think they have in mind. Ah, like I love pauses? Yeah. <laughs> not going to get the catch there, unfortunately. Sardar will make it out, and he'll have to go back to the grindstone. I guess he's going force He's going. Mobility. Yeah, force yeah. that. Yeah, similar to what we see from, like, Team Archon slash Fire. Moves... Four staff Slardar. It's funky. And there is your Vanguard All right. pickup. Bristleback's been extremely quiet. I'm curious to see what they're going to get out of him. Mid lane. Call down, call down, TC. He now pulls it out. Decent rocket barrage damage. Still gets slowed down a bit, but looks like the Wolves don't want to have any more of it. Van's going to be still going to damage quills. over time. Those quills continue to stack up, and the grave certainly helps. Owie's going to be forced back. Yawar still tickling with him a bit. Flirting around, not going to get the catch on the raise, but has a haste rune, so he would love to get any sort of committed kill, but no one will be going down. Ultimately, that's okay. That's a five-man smoke, and uh, they don't get TC. No, they don't. Imagine if they had a tusk. Oh, Boba's going in. That's Masoku. He has Roar. Necrobook 1 also online. These supports are 
Very vulnerable to the Beastmaster what now. The f oh, is that just a graphical thing? What is? Uh, there's a TA, there's an invisible TA trap. Like, like yeah, we couldn't happens. see it. Remember, like, Greg couldn't see that one ward? This reborn thing. So they have Shadow Feed Mech now, and they're feeling very confident to push. And Wolves do not do well at defending their towers, if you look at it. Very little wave clear. No Blink initiation yet, or Force Staff initiation. And yeah, you have Bristle, but he can't even. We saw there, he died, or he dropped pretty quickly. Can't really be running in. And they're gonna go Roche. DC, making all the right moves here. Good defensive rotations, good movement from Owie early. Not allowing E Wolves to snowball, slowing down the TA mid with Yawar's nice individual laning. And now they'll take an Aegis as well. And I, Wolves are not contesting this. This is looking better and better for Digital Chaos. No better time than now to make these kind of games count. One away from moving on to the next round here. Loser goes home. Digital Chaos after picking up the Aegis. I assume we're going to want to stall a bit. This isn't a quick to fight kind of an Aegis here. But maybe instead just clear out the remaining tier 1s. There still seems to be one standing up here on the side of e -Wolves And build up towards that tier 2. Move in. Plant some aggressive wards. Already DC have great vision with this Beastmaster. But with this Aegis now, they feel a lot more comfortable just kind of using the map to their leisure here. TC's going to be finishing out a Helm of the Dominator. So it just kind of shows that they're maybe not going too all in with the fighting quite yet. Though I say that in contradiction of the mech being complete. Just kind of gives you an idea that they maybe do want to cluster and go. Not a typical Yawar Shadow Fiend item. We don't see him get mech very often, but maybe for this game they're feeling they do want to actually be more proactive. Does he normally go Midas or just like more like the Yasha goes like, Dominator? Yeah, Yasha he, he usually the Dominator goes kind of a thing. Um, hot into stacks into S and Y. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think I saw him. Yeah, and then he got like a Butterfly one game. Scotty maybe. I don't mind the I don't mind the mech here. He was he was doing really well, and nobody else on his team is going to get a mech. So, I mean, they have a team that can fight. It doesn't have to go very long. Ewolves are just too poor to fight five v five. If they had the TA Deso makings of a blink, if Slardar had like a a blink, he's getting closer and to the HP staff. item. It's still tough to five v five. Yeah, I mean, he's going to run in, crush, but then uh, after that. He's gonna get. He's gonna get called down into Shadow Fiend ult. Uh, a cask might like mess up his initiation. There's so many things to really interrupt and mess up a Slardar here. I really think they need BKBs. Like once you get BKBs, oh, sure. Requiem does nothing. Call down does nothing, and doesn't even give you the slow anymore. There is physical damage, but it's mostly spread damage. Then wolves get quite scary, but they are not there yet. Are they really trying to take this fight? It looks like it. Weave's gonna be out now. They want to defend. Calldown's going to fly. Van's the focal point, and he is just annihilated. That is their tanky bristle back. The follow-up is going to be Stinger. Four staff dreams are going to be waiting a bit longer, and Mystico is going to be what looks like number three. Yep. That was not a good fight. No, they, they, they should have known at that point. You're fighting into a into an Aegis uh, mech SF call down. Mech. Yeah. Like. And Smash just now has Deso. It's a very odd time to to engage. It's been a long series with a lot of pauses, a lot of lag, frustration, possibly mounting for the players. Pretty long day. E-Wolves played their first match, I think, like over six hours ago. Yeah. So, sure. Of course, Digital Chaos has had to deal with a lot of the same stuff, but can definitely get in people's Mental heads. fatigue. Yeah. It's a real thing. Yeah. Well, it's, it's something that you, you just have to deal with as a, as a player. Mm -hmm. um, happens in lots of... There are lots of long tournaments, lots mm -hmm. of long days. Mm-hmm. Endurance is uh, as much of a skill as, uh, you know, just mechanics. Well, DC are going to smoke again and not scouted by the Radiant. Let's see. Where do they want to go? Bottom lane is the call. Bulba closing in on the Necro 3. Masoku out. In an awkward position. They may end up losing two here. They're going to begin by call downing Stinger and, well, Stinger. All kinds He's, of dead. Yeah. Sees a call down. like, I'm just going to crush and farm what I can. <laughs> Every movement for DC has worked this game. Yes. Smoke, get a kill, take a tower, run into the Roche pit, get the Roche. Eight and one, basically pitching a shutout here, even though the lead looks fairly minor in terms of golden experience. It, 
it's more the nature of the drafts where it just feels like E Wolves need to be even or ahead because they don't have the great 5v5 lineup. They're going to rat a little bit more now. Smash Desso up. But here comes the high ground breach, Digital Chaos. Looking to get into the lower bracket finals where they would face either Unknown or Cloud9 for a shot at going to Frankfurt. And I won. All right. Congratulations to me. That's Congratu a fifth pause. And, and it's, it's over 4.5. Sorry, Benjamin Wu. <laughs> Is that annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Can you move your screen? Never mind. We're f we got to fight. Is it me? Yeah. Okay. No, it's, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Here they come. They're sieging in. This tier three already had a half of its life. Van with low mana. We'll pop the wand. Requiem going to be flying out as the tier three does go down. And a death war going to be dropped and committed here from Beer U. Smash is going to be the first to drop. He's going to be also pulling out a buyback here. They have to get some kills now. That is a big blow to the TA's economy. Even now behind the gyrocopter, Smash hey. has not been coming to fights. The Ranger X also in jeopardy. Ban's going to run, but, in, but the cooldown's available, and TC lets it go. They then follow up with a nice bouncing cast for Buryu as DC zero in on their first lane of Rex. They will claim it. Great crush from Stinger, but zero follow-up. Smash not even remotely in position. Now Ban, one by one they go in, but the Quills are starting to stack a little bit. He's into the corner, into the Death Cage. <laughs> Smash also stunned, controlled by Boba, who held the roar this whole time. He could have potentially cleaned up there. Instead, it's a dieback um, for Smash. It's a full lane of Rex. It's a gargantuan gold. They just plummeted off a cliff there. And with Woo! that DC, this game is theirs. Well, well, that ended quick. Well, the guaranteed South American birth into into the major. That's, that's uh, likely that's slipping away here. It'll be up to unknown to carry the banner. We'll see though. Got to keep that small hope, but that was a huge loss. I don't know how many went down all day. A dieback from Smash. E Wolves just has no way to. They have no way to start an advantageous fight for themselves. Uh, Slardar is just way too poor the timing, at this point. The timing for him to get this like mobility item was just way too late. Especially when you're leading out the game with an aggressive lane, you're hoping to get the upper hand, and Force just came out too late. By that point, DC were already ready to take fights. Yeah, they they should have, they definitely should have safe lane the Slardar um, and get him a, a good early start because he's he's the one that's supposed to set the tempo of the game for them, and he just didn't get enough to do that. I have not, and I just haven't felt the presence of the Bristleback. Like, compare what Van has done to what Bulba has done this game. Not even just the KDA, but... Bulba's been giving vision to the team, helped them take Roshan, he's helped them take objectives with the Necro book. Van just runs in and dies. I think to me the two big things are Skywrath has been an underwhelming pick, and I agree with you, Charlie, that the laning setup just doesn't seem to work. But even then, there's still things they could have done differently. Like not taking that fight top, that puts them in a much better position. They could have fought with the Deso, maybe gone for a smoke gank to reveal it. Even wait for the Slardar Force staff, but Frustration now has to be set in for the Wolves as they see their tier 2 mid about to fall. DC, very close. And then they can get some much needed sleep before a big day tomorrow. Yeah. One of their most convincing performances so far. I feel like almost every time DC play, they, they have to really work for it. Well, and it's like, I, should, it make, should it be this much work for them to get the win? This time it feels very convincing. Here's the thing with DC. I feel like every time they win, it's a... Uh, they, they have a big advantage in the draft. Um, and all the close games they play, they very rarely win, if ever. Nice grave on Van, but it's not even allowing the Quills to do damage. He still gets muscled down. DC, not even tickling. Or not even tickled by him, I should say. Ooh, English. This is to... Looks like the second set of racks to go down with Stinger out and Van out for 30 seconds. Well, I guess for a series that had about 35 pauses, this is an appropriately anticlimactic way for the series to end. Unfortunately, it's a bit heartbreaking for the Elite Wolves. They came out on top of their group, right? They were number yeah. one in the group. And they lost two series in a row, and now they're gone. Dota, what a game. And it just shows you also that Dota is a very different game when it's a BO3 instead of a two-game series. Like... DC able to make adjustments over the course of the series, and Wolves did not quite get the job done. Well, congratulations to DC. Digital Chaos. They get to fight tomorrow. Woo! Mm.
They will be awaiting, of course, their opponent, the loser of Cloud9 versus Unknown in that lower bracket final. Tomorrow we will know what America team teams are going to be going off to Frankfurt here. All right. So Ooh. America is done now for today. Um, and we hop over to SEA day two of the playoffs. So today we... We do know. We crown the two SEA teams. Is it... How's it looking there? Because I had to rest during I sleep. actually did not even Fnatic check. Fnatic is still the favorite? It is Fnatic and uh, Signature and... It's Fnatic versus Mineski in the winner's and, finals. And Mineski and then... Signature no got Phoenix knocked out. Anymore. Oh, no uh, no MVP oh, Phoenix? It was Team 1, 2, 3. Right. Team 1, 2, 3? Yeah. Yeah, I know God's God's thought that one two three is the weakest team in the qualifier. So isn't he supposed to be? He a wasn't a fan of signature either. Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. Well, sorry, not in the qualifier, in the playoffs. I mean, um, so I, I guess with that, uh, Fnatic and Mineski probably the two favorites here in SEA. But anything can happen. Would this would that be the first time a Filipino team has made it to a Valve event? And I guess you can count uh, Rave at DIC. So yeah. I don't know. Were there Filipino teams at TI one? There was Mineski at TI1, but not since oh, TI1, so okay. it's still been a very long time. Okay. DAC, and that's it. DAC wasn't really a Valve event. Yeah, sort of. It was like a secret Valve event. Maybe. Sort of. Or maybe not. Okay, so... <laughs> We're done. Is there yep. a break? Isn't you guys say there's a break now? How long? Till er what? 10.30? It's about 9. So, supposedly there's going to be about an hour and a half break or so. Doesn't mean that this channel will be down for an hour and a half. There's been murmurs and talks that maybe we'll have something special. If not, oh well. <laughs> OC Remix. <laughs> yeah, so there's sure. no games for an hour and a half. Then there's China playoffs. SEA does not start for five hours. So, we'll we begin by a taking while. a peek at the China playoffs. Um, but we're generally going to be following SEA whenever the games are happening. Mm -hmm. So Great. We may have some fun activities like Dakota said. We may not. We'll see. We better have some fun activities. Tomorrow, though... I didn't come here to really cast Dota. I wanted to come... I, w I just want to play Mafia. Okay. Well, maybe we can. I don't even know if you've casted Dota yet. Today, we didn't get to see a whole lot of it. Saw a lot of the play Mafia. Screen. Yeah. Roland has a mafia S game as well. Yeah, I heard about it. Grace said it was... He said something weird like you take your pants off when you play, though. I know. So. Grace said it only lasts two minutes or something. I'm, not, a super a, I'm, I'm not that excited. I'm it not, sounds I'm very not random about it. and low yeah, skill. Yeah, yeah. I'm not we'll about see. it. I just want to play Mafia. We'll see. All right. Well, the new, there's a lot of noobs at the house, so they may they may carry the vote. We should... You know what? We should call up Ken. He's like... He's like 45 minutes away. There's yeah, no traffic Yeah, there's now. no traffic right now. Yeah, we should call up Ken. Get your ass out of here, Hop It. I know you're watching. Hop It! Drive over here. You bought yourself a new car. I'll bring Chobra with you. Yeah. So we have two extra players. Is, Ch is Chobra we'll even like here? I don't know. He's probably he's in... He's probably traveling. He's probably somewhere. Oh, you know what? He might be at Worlds? Oh, is he a part of LCS? I have no idea. Whatever. Anyways, hop he's in. He's basically always at an event. Hop it. Get over here. Jimmy. Jimmy I'm... can get over here. Oh, yeah. Jimmy, come here. Come here and play come Mafia. Come here, buddy. So I have, a, I have a Mafia story for Jimmy. Um, this was like back at MLG Columbus 2013. Um, we're playing Mafia. Jimmy claims cop, and then like later in the like a couple rounds later, he just he totally forgets that he claimed cop. Yeah, was he actually the cop or was he posing? No, he he was totally posing. He I don't know. He threw so hard. I think he was like Mafia or something. He claimed cop for, and then says he was lying that he he wasn't cop. It was like the biggest throw ever. It was so bad. That sounds really. J Jimmy Jimmy plays Mafia exactly like he plays Dota. It's like <laughs> super high risk. Sometimes he throws and it's a lot of the times. Yeah, but sometimes actually, he makes the, the big plays. Yeah, yeah. Like in the beginning of that round, he made a huge play, mm -hmm. and then he just threw it all away. We want the big plays, Jimmy. Come on, you know you want to. All right, so I guess we'll take a break. Maybe we'll play Mafia. If not, at least something fun for you guys. I hope to keep you all entertained, but. We'll be back. Thank you for watching the Endless Hub. We are into day three, I think. In fact, it's official. We have hit the 72-hour mark. We've got one more full day of Dota. A little extra because China runs late into the AM on day number four. We're going to break 100 hours of non-stop Dota four. action. And then when this ends, World. MLG comes up. The Dota doesn't stop. For you, you. For you. I get to sit back, relax, and watch. No, I, I got. I got to go to that as well. I have to fly back to San Francisco, and then I have to fly back to. I, I got to fly to New Orleans. Get wrecked, Charlie. Uh, whatever. I basically am gonna live like half of my life on.